So we all have things that we have just been struggling with for a cycle of our lives, a chapter of our lives, or maybe there's something specifically that we've been struggling with our entire lives. I know I personally can think of a handful of things that are just like reoccurring things that I'm struggling with, regardless if it's with a new situation or with a new relationship. It's There's definitely things in my life that are reoccurring themes, regardless if it's like a new situation or a new person. It's just like a thing that happens frequently in my life that I've been able to identify. And those things that are just reoccurring obstacles in our lives, oftentimes those are like the things that are our blockages that are preventing us from getting to the next version of ourselves that we are destined to be or the version of ourselves that we want to be or for us to, um, you know, like a lot of times we think of our healing journey or awakening journey as like a video game. Like a lot of times it's like the next level of ourselves that we need to achieve in order to like keep going down our path. And I recently have kind of been able to identify my like very specific blockages that I've had or that I do have currently. And it's like the things that keep showing up in my relationships or they keep showing up in situations of my life. Or even quite frequently, I I noticed that um, maybe if I'm like talking to somebody and I'm talking to somebody about either the things I'm working on or about about myself or things that I struggle with, um, it's like oftentimes the things that I speak about as well over myself and over my life. A a lot of times we reference them as like stories, like, oh, I have this story about myself or this story about my life. For instance, like people who maybe are sick. A lot of times like everything is about the sickness that they have, or maybe somebody was abandoned by a parent when they were younger. Like everything is about that abandonment. And we all have stories that we make up about our lives. Like, oh, I'm never going to find love or, oh, I always pick the wrong guy. Like we always have our, our stories and our stories are often linked to what our blockages are. And those blockages are things that we need to be able to identify so that we can clear them so that we can like move past that. And me personally, like I know I'm a very self-reflective person. So And I'm also very critical of myself too. So for me, identifying my blockages is not a difficult thing. Like I have been very aware about what my blockages are for a while. I will say that the more that I'm like open to my blockages and open to reflecting about myself, I have been able to uncover ways that like those blockages have affected my life in ways that I hadn't even realized because I'm open to understanding that. But there are some of us, though, too, that like are more so, I don't like the word arrogant, but more so like thinking I'm not the problem, like everybody else is the problem or the situation was always the problem or the circumstance, like it never was me. Like there's two different versions of us. It's either either the people that are like super critical and they know like they're pretty reflective. They know what's going on, um, almost to the fact that they're like too critical of themselves or you have the people that are very like, um, I'm not the problem, like, and, and they can't see what their blockages are or what their stories are because they, it, it's like they can't wrap their mind around the fact that, like, maybe it's them. So there's two different types of us. I know I've been able, because I'm a reflective person, like, I'm I, able to identify, like, who I am, which is tendent, has a tendency to be critical, like, but also self reflective. So I've been aware of what my blockages are for a while. Um, but it's like, what do you do with that? That's been like a really big question for me and my life. It's like, okay, I understand that I have these core wounds. I understand that I have these stories about myself or about my life and I want to change them. I want to move past them, but what do I, what do I do now? Like now that I know about them, like, what do I do? And so recently, you know, I've been like doing my studies and I've been, just really trying to tap into maybe what people call shadow work or inner child work. Like there's so many different pieces of like inner work that we can work on. But I feel like I've really been tapping into like more of like my shadow and also my inner child and figuring out like, okay, some of these things that I struggle with about myself, like am I, do I give myself grace through 
pieces of myself that maybe come up that I don't like or that I like try to hide from people like on the shadow work piece of it like a lot of times we try to act like we don't have things wrong with us or we try to avoid a negative feeling like oh I just got angry right now like a lot of times people like get mad at themselves for having like maybe a dark or negative emotion, but they don't really like sit with it. So for me, I've been like really trying to sit with what pieces of my shadow come up and then also my inner child, like I'm able to identify like, oh, this core wound came from my childhood and um, how can I like reparent or remother that piece of me? So it's like now I have the concept about what my stories are, what my blockages are. Now it's like, okay, what do I what do I do now? Okay, I like become curious, I ask questions, I become aware. The one of the things I like most recently heard that I really like is like creating space around that piece of ourselves. Like instead of like creating constriction or tension around like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that. I just got attached to somebody or, oh my gosh, I can't believe that I sold myself short and like having contraction and being frustrated with myself. It's like, um, more so like physically thinking about putting space in, in around that, that energy or around that piece of me. So like giving that emotion or giving that part of me space to breathe, to ask questions about, to just be open with instead of like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. And like trying to put that out of my mind. And so it's like on this path of healing, it's like, and leveling up and like trying to go the next version of myself. It's like, okay, I am identifying the blockages. I'm giving space and room to the things of like the blockages that I do have, the emotions that I do have because of the blockages, I'm giving space to those things. And I'm just allowing myself to like reintegrate into myself, like pieces of me that I've just like avoided. And I'm noticing now that the more that I like give space and room and curiosity to pieces of me that I've tried to just like get critical of myself or beat myself up about the more I've gotten like curious about them. It's like, I'm having these like aha moments, like, oh my gosh, you know, for example, like you have this, um, blockage of finding success, whatever success is like to you, it could be so many different things, but like for me, it's like, okay, you have this problem with like trying to achieve success. Okay. That's a blockage. Okay. Where, where's that blockage coming from? Okay. It's coming from my self-value or my self-worth. Okay, great. Where places within my life or within me that I don't show, that I don't feel like I'm valuable. Okay, great. Now I see those places where I don't feel valuable. How can I like maneuver around those things? So it's like the next third step, I guess I would say to this P to this chapter, to this obstacle, whatever you want to say is like, identifying where you can give yourself what you need in order to like nurture that piece of you. So like, for instance, if my blockage is not finding success, if I'm able to identify areas where I, where I experience that, okay, how can I nurture like the piece of me that doesn't feel successful or that doesn't feel value? Okay, great. I can maybe, um, really tap into things that I'm, I'm really great at which helps me see my value and it helps me feel my value. So it's like today I was journaling and I'm like, okay, here's all my blockages. Here's how these blockages have shown up in my life. And here's things that I can do to nurture that piece of me. So I kind of like counteract, um, what the blockage is. And then I think the fourth step is like, okay, where, who would I be or what would I get or, what would my life look like if I was able to eliminate those blockages? For instance, like if I'm like, okay, I never can be successful. I struggle with success. Okay. Here's like the blockages, like not having self value. Okay. Here's the things I can do to make myself feel self, uh, to have self value. Okay. The fourth thing is like, okay, what, who would I be and what would I look like if I had self value and I had success? Like, and being able to imagine all of that and what that would look like. And so this has been some really like powerful work that I personally have been doing for myself. Cause it's like, I'm at a place in my journey and my healing path that I'm like, I know 
what my blockages are. And I know, like, I can imagine what my life would be like if I didn't have those specific blockages. There's probably four or five, like, very specific blockages. I actually wrote in my journal that, um, I was trying to think where my journal was, is that I think the words that I used was, like, unsafe, unsupported, unaccepted, and maybe unvaluable. I don't know if any of these are words, but you get my point. Like these are like not feeling safe, not feeling protected, not feeling accepted and not feeling valuable. Um, these are things that like I know are blockages and I can see where they show up in my life. So I'm like, okay, now that I know that, what can I do next? And when I am on the first step, fourth step of this like little exercise that I'm doing internally within myself and like journaling about, I'm like, okay, what would my life look like if I didn't have those blockages? And it's pretty crazy for me that I almost like, I'm almost like, it's almost too much for me to even think about like who I would be if those things were not an issue for me. And the reason is, the reason why is because oftentimes a lot of us get super attached to what our stories are. And if we don't have our stories, then who are we? What's our identity? What what do we hold on to? Like, And that's something that's a really, really big deal. I know me personally, I've realized that a lot over the past couple of months, maybe even year that I'm like, I have held on to this story about myself is blank. I am this person. This happened to me. Like I'm very holding on to the story that I have of my life. So when I start to think about overcoming that story or releasing that blockage, it's really uncomfortable for me. Like it's something I'm attached to. Similar to how we get attached to jobs, attached to people, relationships, Um, identities, like we also get attached to our stories about ourselves and about our life. So whenever we can identify what our blockages are, how to nurture that blockage and what our life would look like if we didn't have that blockage, that's when we can start to move into going into the next level of who we're supposed to be. So this is something I'm personally like really trying to tap into right now because I know I've known for a while, like the things that I have had blockages with and I'm like, I'm ready. Like I can feel myself quite literally feel myself being shifted and molded into a new different person. And a lot of times people feel like this healing journey, this awakening journey. A lot of times people feel like this is like a really beautiful light oh my God, I feel great. I'm an amazing person. I'm healed. Like a lot of times people feel like it's like that, but actually when you're really doing the work on yourself, when you're really trying to grow, trying to heal, like it's not pleasant most of the time. Like, um, it's, it's not like a comfy, cozy, warm feeling, like all of the time, at least it does have those feelings sometimes. But where I'm at right now is like, I can feel myself shifting, molding, growing, like having these growing pains because I'm ready to move on to the next level. And so I wanted to make a video about what I'm experiencing right now in my own life, because as I've talked about before, like we all are going through similar uh, experiences in some form or fashion, regardless what they, regardless, like what the story is or what the blockage is, like your blockage may be like speaking your truth or using your voice. And my blockage may be, um, like self-acceptance or something, you know, like our blockages could be different, but for the most part, like the, the recipe, the medicine, all of it is all the same. And so I wanted to share my own personal truth because I know that it can translate into somebody else's life as well. So I want to know in the comments, like, have you been able to identify your blockages? If you want, share your blockages. Um, I know, as I mentioned, I have like four or five, like very specific blockages that I'm like trying to overcome right now, but also for like my whole life. So, um, yeah, leave a comment below. I want to know, like, have you identified your blockages? What are you doing to nurture yourself? I can tell you one of mine right now is like self-acceptance, self-value. And that what I'm doing right now to nurture that part of me is like really tapping into people that see me, like people that I feel like celebrate and honor my uniqueness and also me tapping into, uh, things that I'm good at 
things that make me feel like, wow, like I killed the shit out of like making that YouTube video, you know, like I'm trying to tap into things that I know that I have gifts with so that it just is allowing me to nurture like self-value in myself and self-acceptance by being around people who accept me and love me exactly the way that I am. So those are things that I'm working on right now. Um, yeah, just so I can overcome some of those blockages that I have. So leave a comment below. I'm interested in what you're working on and I'll see you guys in the next video.